During the development of the President's Quiz, we've been trying to get Firebase to work cohesively with App Inventor 2. But there are several things that could go wrong. In this video, we look at some of these possible problems and how to deal with them. One of the most common mistakes that students make when first developing this app is that they do not realize that the top node in the Firebase database has to match exactly with the name of the project bucket properties given in the Firebase database properties field inside App Inventor 2. If this does not happen, no immediate errors will be given by App Inventor 2 during the compilation process, but when the app is run, runtime errors will start to appear. By default, the string values stored in the project bucket properties tag will be the same as the name of the AIA file of the project. When you develop your Firebase database, you want to make sure that you're logged in on the same Google account that you're using to develop the app. If you have different accounts here, there may be some problems in accessing the data. While you're running the app, if you see that some of the assets load while others do not, it is highly likely that you have misspelled one of the names when loading in the database. If your app is having trouble accessing the Firebase database due to access violations, it is likely that you have loaded either the token or the URL incorrectly. Let's look at each of these briefly. First, in terms of the Firebase URL, you want to make sure you're using this link that's here instead of this link up here. In terms of the token, to access the token, you want to click here, go to Project Settings, go to Database, and then use the show command to reveal the token and copy and paste this into the location in where the Firebase token is required. Without these two elements, your app will not be able to access the data from Firebase.